All legends take losses, similar to Dips said I'm Jada in the ring, swinging a guillotine hat. She call my gun Amber Heard, cause she real ratchet. She always trying to pop a nigga, such a bad habit. On son, who else you know can start a video off like that 45 minutes straight? 40, 40, <laughs> 45 seconds straight, you know what I'm saying? Just looking at the camera like, what up? What up, son? What up? <laughs> Not them. But your boy, old five dynasty can. Yeah. And I bet you still here watching too, right? <laughs> I'm just loving this, man. I'm loving life, y'all. So I've been doing my push-ups. I feel, I feel amazing, man. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. And this shoulder, like this arm right here, I have a, a torn muscle in the labrum. I spoke about this before on my YouTube channel. This is a long time ago, though. But I still have to tear because I didn't opt opting for surgery because of my doctor. And my doctor, see, you have to have amazing people around you. And this doctor, I, this was the first time I ever met him. But you could tell how humble the guy is and not thirsty for a dollar bill that he gave me the correct advice. He told me, hey, I don't mind doing the surgery. It's more money in my pocket. But what's to say after I do the surgery, you still won't have the pain because the surgery is just going to pull the muscle tissue together. But I can still retain the pain in the shoulder. He said, so let's look at it. So they, they looked at it. They, they saw that there's a tear. But it's not to the point where they have to pull it together. He told me, he said, let's try physical therapy first and see if we can bring the muscles back to full strength. So the muscles that are around the tear, let's try to bring those stronger so they, they cuff around it and the whole socket, the whole thing is strong again. Then you won't have to do the surgery. And I, I felt that I, I thought that was very commendable by this gentleman, very honorable, and he didn't just go in and cut me open and just stitch it up. I mean, do the surgery and just put me back together and say, "All right, go on, go on about your merry way," which could have been easily even more money for him. I could go back, I could keep getting checkups, checkups on it, and probably visit other doctors too, and they make money off of me. You just you it's kind of hard in this world, but somehow, some way, you have to figure out figure out a way to not give up on finding good people because there are good people out there. I mean, amongst all the bad people, there's a lot of bad people out there, but there are some good people. And when you find them, try to keep them, man, because they're 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 diamond in the rough, man. They're like a needle in the haystack. So I give this guy credit, man. He he literally helped me out. So. For like a year, I was I wasn't really able to work though. Like I was only able to work two days out of the week, and I was on a weight restriction, so I was only able to lift maybe between five to like ten to fifteen pounds, which is nothing for me. Like I have a good upper body. Like my upper body strength is it's nice, it's good. Yeah. That's why when I used to fight back in the days, I wasn't too keen on like how to knock people out with my hands. 
but I was very slippery. So I mean, I probably shouldn't be telling you this. <laughs> One day I might want to fight me, and it's, you, you're waiting to see me to fight me. So I, <laughs> but I can move like I have agility. So I used to be able to like get up and get up in you, and I would be able to just, like you know pick you up a body slam you with ease because my upper body strength is just pick you up. Pow. I mean, that's how it is. And you know, when I heard it. And I was at work, and I could only lift a couple of pounds. It kind of, it kind of hurt my soul, man. I felt handicapped because I got other men at work working hard, and they're like, "Oh, don't worry, Jamal, don't touch anything. Just leave it alone. We got it." And I'm like, I'm looking at them like, "Y'all, come on, y'all know me, man. Yeah, know. I hurt my arm at work because I was busting my behind, and I, what I didn't notice was I wasn't taking care of myself, though. That's why." You see me every video, or every other video, you see me in my water. Cause I'm drinking water crazy now. Because if you don't stay hydrated, your muscles get dehydrated. I did not know that. Because I wasn't edgy, I wasn't as smart as I thought I, I was, you know. Now I'm really getting into everything. I'm reading, reading every day. I'm looking at articles online. I'm like any if I need to spell something on my phone. I don't look at the autocorrect because the autocorrect always pops up and I try to spell it. Like literally, like I'm literally trying to spell every word out, no matter what it is. And if I mess up, I'll delete the couple letters and I try to think of it. I try to sound it out. You know what I mean? And I, then I, I eventually I'll get it. So the muscle needs, needs fluids. It needs water. So when I was at work and I was working, I went up for a box, and when I went to, it was so high up. When I went to pull it, I felt the arm, I felt the arm like pop, like snap, pow. Oh, what the hell was that? Then I like, all right, whatever. I felt a little burning sensation. Then I go to the, the bailer where you put like the cardboard boxes in, and I was, I went to go open up the gate so I could close the gate because I put my boxes in, and I felt it pop again, like, pop. Oh, my God. And I went to the front and I told my boss, I was like, there was something wrong with my arm. I felt it pop. And I didn't know what it actually was. But when I went to the doctor, yeah, I tore the muscle in my arm. And one of my friends at work, he does like, you know, he, he works out. And he was like, you need to drink more water. He said, your muscles probably was dehydrated. And when I thought about it, I wasn't drinking any water, really. And my muscles were dehydrated. So me doing all this strain and the I'm lifting a heavy body. I'm lifting like cases of like 50 pounds. That's like you go you go to the gym, you could lift that. I mean, some people only lift like 50 pounds. Some people lift like 75 pounds. Some people lift 100 pounds. Some people, and I'm talking about just regular lifting. Some people probably lift 110, 115, 125 pounds. Then you get the big dogs up there. They 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 they, they got the muscles. <laughs> they they got the protein shakes and stuff like that. Those are the people who will go to like 200, 250, 300, 350. They they do all that. That's not I'm not in that level. But I was able to, to get like I'm I'm lifting like sacks. I'm p- picking up like, like sacks and bundles of things. They cost they they weigh like 50 pounds, 60 pounds. Throw them up on my shoulder. I'm walking over like huh. Sometimes I have like two sacks. One here. I touch it. I'll tell somebody, put another sack on this shoulder. I got two sacks. I'm walking like this. You know what I'm saying? To where my table is. I drop one sack on the table. And I drop the other sack on the table. And I start packing out my tables. But I'm like, I'm going hard. And I pop on the ripping it. And the worst part about me ripping it is that it, it, it can't heal. It's not like skin that grows back. You know what I mean? It's like once the muscle tears... It's the muscle tear. It's like cutting into a you cut it. If you ever cut it, you ever cut into a muscle, you see it, it rips open like like the like slice open. That's it. It's not gonna just start or magically just go back and heal. Not everything on your body can heal that way. So I still feel it. I feel the burning sensation in here a little bit. Like I still feel it when I do certain things. Crazy. So I was, I was feeling handicapped working around those other gentlemen. And I, I I don't, I don't like that, man, because I know how, how I get down. I know how I get down. And I never try to impress anybody either. It's just me. I just like, if I, I feel strong and I want to stay feeling strong. So I, I do strong things. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how it is. But yeah, I got the tear right here. And then the crazy thing, I got some other, I have more coworkers that have the same tear. Some of them are a little, little bit like 
they damaged his a little bit more. Like my boss, he really damaged his in a couple spots. I have actually I have more than one tear. I have two tears. I have one tear, then I have another tear. It's like two tears in here. And probably another one too. I I recently re injured it, but I didn't go to the doctor. I didn't feel like I needed to go to the doctor. So I just I stopped doing push ups and stuff like that for a long time. I was like, you know, I can't. I don't want to do anything. Let me just leave it alone. Okay, I know I'm not going to do the surgery because he already told me we don't have to. Let's just let it heal. So what I did was I gave it a lot of rest. And now I feel like I can do my push-ups and, and stuff again. But my boss, he wanted to get his surgery. because he, he was a pain, pain. And then when he came back from the surgery, he rested for like a couple of weeks. But then when he, it was time for him to get back to work. You could hear him. Like he lift something. He go, Oh, throw it on the table. He's like, oh, it's crazy, son. So that goes to show you, like, even with the surgery, it's not guaranteed that you won't feel that pain anymore. So that I, that's why I thank that doctor, you know what I'm saying? Like, bless, that dude's a blessing. Now all I got to do is just stay strong. So you see me, you see me with the water. I'm drinking the water, and I'm, do, I'm doing my push-ups now. So I, I'm trying to get back to being very, very, very strong. If I can get back to be very, very, very strong, I'm Gucci. And another thing, I want to lose my stomach. If I lose my stomach, I'm coming out. I'm coming out the hoodie and everything. I'm going to be showing that. I'm going to be showing everything. You want to see my six pack, baby? You want to see that? <laughs> Trust me, y'all. I'm going to be an old man with the gray hair, so I'm going to be showing my stomach. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's that's the goal. That's the goal of Five Dynasty is just to stay healthy. Well, actually, it was just to get even healthier. Put it like that. Get the body looking good and to continue doing me. Doing me with the music. Doing me with the dancing. Doing me with the drawing. You know, doing me with the graphic design. Music production, like making beats and stuff like that. Doing me practicing my harmonizing. So hopefully, I can get like that singing voice one day. Doing me with reading my books, learning the words. It's crazy. Let me tell you something. So I started reading this book, right? It's dope, though. But I was getting stuck on a lot of words. And I was taught a very long time ago, you read from the top left to the bottom right of the page. And if you get stuck on a word, you take that word and you write it down somewhere and you go back and you learn that word. And I, I got stuck on a lot of words. I, I'm just not the smartest person out there, man. I'll be honest. I mean, I'm, but I, I, I am like headstrong. So I will tell myself, learn that word. Learn that word. So I'm going over these words every day and I'm just practicing them so I can get them into my vocabulary and I'm just feeding my mind. I'm just getting stronger. So what's going to happen is I'm actually, once I get all these words down packed, I know how to say them correctly and I know what they mean. I'm going to go back to those paragraphs, those passages in the book and read them over again. So now I can apply those words to what this gentleman was saying and I could really understand the context of what he was writing. I could really understand it. That's where your boy Old Five Dynasty is going. So while a lot of y'all or you know, doing this random stuff and just doing, I don't know, just whatever. I'm literally trying to become that ultimate human being, man. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. I, I really don't have any other way of, like, describing it, but I'm really trying to be that guy, man. I'm trying to be that guy. And I, I've watched a lot of stuff. There's some things I've seen, too, man. Like, I'm like, oh, wow, I don't know that. Oh, should I, should I just, like, dive his head a little bit? Like, I, had, I was watching this young lady. She followed me on Instagram. And I check the people that follow me, but it's, it's a lot of spam and bot accounts. I get a ton of, like, just females uh, adding me, following me, but they're, like, they're fake accounts. But sometimes you get, like, a real person. So I check it out, boom. And this person was talking about stock and dividends and how you get paid and all of a sudden your company and stuff. And I'm looking like, oh, should I be watching her? You know what I'm saying? Because some things are like too, like just, I don't know. It's like some things I don't really want to put in my head. Like even though I know I should, but I know you can also utilize other companies to help you out with certain things. So maybe I might learn a little bit of that just so like if I speak to a professional about it, but hey, I need you to help me with that for my service. <laughs> you know I mean? Some things I'm just not even going to do. Like 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to be an architect. You know what I'm saying? And design skyscrapers. But I will pay somebody to design me one. You know what I'm saying? For my, my company, my building, Old Five Dennis. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so some things I will, like, I'll conquer. But some things I just let, let other people handle. You feel me? Like, my graphic designer does all my vector art. Shout out to him. Alum Creative. Shout out to you, homie. Yeah.